Marco Robbie moved in with a few friends, including Tom Ackerley, and soon realized she was in love. The couple decided to keep it a secret from their roommates and the world, assuming it wouldn't become serious. Today, they are married. In 2013, Margot Robbie, who was starting to work her way up, was filming Sweet Frances. Little did she know, her future husband was working on the World War II drama as well. Tom Ackerley was part of the movie's crew. One may assume Margot spent her free time mingling with the more famous actors. However, the performer chose to make friends with the crew. Sometime later, The Wolf of Wall Street, in which Robbie had her breakout role, was released. The actress flew to the United Kingdom for the premiere and met with her friends again. They were all so happy to see each other that they decided to move in together. And I was like, wouldn't it be great if we could just all live in one big house, like one big happy family? And everyone was like, yeah, I'll do it. And I was like, yeah, I'll do it. Three days later, we over Skype, we signed a lease and boom, here we are. In an interview with The Guardian, the I, Tanya star explained that her friends were surprised since she didn't live in London. Her reply was, I don't live anywhere, I'll move. Margot was so sure of her decision that she didn't even see the place before moving in. The home they rented had three bedrooms and seven people. Robbie explained that crew members like assistant directors get paid like shit, so they had to fit a lot of people into a small space. One of those people was Tom. The pair continued to be friends for some time after moving in together. However, Robbie started to develop feelings for the Brit. I was always in love with him, but I thought, oh, he would never love me back, the actress explained to Vogue. She realized that if she didn't tell Tom she liked him, it would end up being weird. Turns out Tom was very much on the same page. Margot described how she felt at that moment, saying, I was like, of course, we're together. This makes so much sense, the way nothing has ever made sense before. My husband is in the Harry Potter movies. I know, I was like, had you told me sooner, we would have been married very quickly. <laughs> Margot's feelings were a big surprise for her, not only because Tom was her friend, but also because she used to love being single. The idea of relationships made me want to vomit, and then this crept up on me, she confessed. Before dating Ackerley, Robbie didn't have any high-profile relationships, although she has been linked to other stars in the past. In 2015, Margot was spotted kissing Alexander Skarsgård, her The Legend of Tarzan co-star. A few anonymous witnesses said that they looked like a couple, but the actors never confirmed anything. Whether it was a casual thing or nothing at all, they're good friends now. Other rumors say that the actress may have dated Leonardo DiCaprio while they were working on The Wolf of Wall Street. Honestly, it's ever since I started working in this industry, I was like, that's it, I've peaked. <laughs> it's not gonna get any better. It really can't get any better. <laughs> And then something really fun comes along like this. Gossip site Dumois claimed that the pair had a quiet relationship during filming, and Margot even stayed in Leo's apartment complex. Yet again, the pair has never confirmed anything. But let's get back to Margot and Tom's romance. At first, the couple decided to keep things secret. They didn't want to tell their roommates until they were sure. We weren't really taking it seriously, Robbie confessed, before adding that their mantra at the time was, we're just mates, we're just mates. Despite the couple's best efforts, their roomies eventually found out about their relationship. Margot told The Guardian their flatmates were not happy at first. Everyone was like, no, this is going to ruin our group. Luckily, they accepted the couple's love in the end and no groups were ruined. We bet they all laugh about it now. The lovebirds' relationship got more serious and they still kept their romance mostly private. Although the couple has had some PDA-filled dates, they don't walk a lot of red carpets or go to many events together. Let's say they are very cute when they do. Being private didn't prevent the pair from being at the center of rumors. In 2016, the idea that Margot and Tom had secretly married started spreading. The pair wasn't even publicly engaged, so what led to these suspicions? Well, Robbie appeared in an airport with a t-shirt that read, Say I do down under. Quite the obvious clue. A few days after the ceremony, Margot gave the world the confirmation it needed. She uploaded a beautiful picture on Instagram where she showed off her wedding ring. The actress has since deleted the account, but the photo is now all over the internet. Yeah, I see the engagement ring, but uh, you told Australian Vogue that you only wear it on the weekend, so you're, you're breaking a rule. Yeah, everyone's freaking out over that. I, when I'm at work, you can't wear a wedding ring in costume. Like, if your character's not married, it's going to look really weird if you got a wedding ring on. The wedding was super secretive. However, we do know the ceremony took place in Byron Bay, located in Robbie's native Australia. The pair was so worried about privacy that they didn't disclose the exact location to their guests. Instead, they were asked to assemble at different locations where they were taken to the venue by buses. 
Margot wasn't initially thrilled about marriage because she thought it just sounded really boring. However, as the actress herself explained to Porter Magazine, the right person can change all that. Now, Robbie loves being married. Life got way more fun somehow, she explained. The star also confessed marriage inspires her to become better. I have a responsibility being someone's wife, she added. At the time they got married, Margot and Tom still lived with their friends. One day, their roommates gathered and told them that they just had a wedding, so now they had to live on their own. The Birds of Prey actors confessed to the Guardian that the thought hadn't even occurred to them. We were like, huh? What? Just the two of us? That's gonna be weird. At the time, the pair was still working hard to achieve their dreams. They decided to skip their honeymoon to film I, Tonya, a biopic in which she starred and he was part of the crew. In an interview, the actors recalled that there were times when they were freezing in the Atlanta cold and wondered what they were doing. Following our dream, she said. The couple's ambitions have led them to create their own production company, Lucky Chap Entertainment, with other friends. Yeah, our, well, it's not just my husband and I in the company. There's a couple of us, and yeah, we've got about 13 films in development right now and a TV department, and uh, with about maybe 10 projects in the TV department right now. So yeah, the company's like really growing quickly. Their aspirations behind the company were to create more female-led films and more interesting roles for women. Every time I pick up a script, I want to play the guy, Robbie confessed to Wall Street Journal magazine. The bombshell star is not shy about how hard it can get to be a woman in Hollywood. In 2017, at the start of the hashtag MeToo movement, the actress wrote an essay addressed to the film industry. She described what being female in the industry was like, saying, You will probably have to fight through degrading situations. She urged women to come together so the world will finally see them as equals. Margot's company has succeeded in producing well-received films like I, Tonya and Promising Young Woman. They're also currently producing the highly anticipated Barbie movie, which will be released in summer 2023. On many of these films, Margot and Tom have worked together. Talk about a power duo. Of course, being married comes with its own challenges, especially if both partners work in the difficult film business. For that reason, the couple has their own special ways of making sure their romance stays strong. For example, they never spend more than two weeks apart. Margot explained to Porter that even if they have to fly to a country in between where they both are to just spend a night together, they will do it and just fly back to work the next day. Robbie also confessed that she and her husband never fight. She explained that neither of them like conflict. We don't need to yell at each other to know that we love each other. The pair also try to surprise each other with something romantic every once in a while. For example, the actress loves ice cream. One day, she went home after being away for a long time. When she opened the freezer, she discovered that Tom had filled it with all her favorite ice creams. It was like you know me inside and out, Margot said. Ackerley also respects his wife's love for somebody else, her soft toy bunny. The star told W Magazine that she still likes to bring Bunny to bed, which her sweetie is not crazy about. Maybe he's a little jealous that Bunny always gets priority place in the bed, she joked. Since she got married, Margot has been asked the same question over and over. When will she have children? Everyone keeps asking, everyone's like, you're married now, you have to have kids. I was like, you don't have to. You can just be married, you know. That is true. The Academy Award nominee is tired of the social contract that states that if she's married, she has to have a baby. The actress confessed to Porter Magazine that she does see children in her future, but definitely not at the moment. Right now, the couple has two adorable dogs. I can't cope with two puppies, let alone children, Robbie joked. Margot and Tom are the perfect example of how romances that start unexpectedly can often turn out amazing. Here at Rumor Juice, we wish them many more years of fun and happiness. Be well and be kind.